previously on Apprentice A. There's just a bunch of Canadian flags because we're stressing hard. This boat has cannons. First real food in a bit. Stress, stress, stress. So the most interesting thing happened last night when Sask and I went out for sushi. Uh, we were sitting there, just having dinner, talking about the buffer and life and just everything. We just had, we just ate, took some time. We took like, a, I think we were there like an hour. We, I barely ate anything. I ate like six pieces of sushi, which is an embarrassing amount. Look, they got it to go and ate the rest tonight, which is still very tasty today. But we just there hanging out, ate a little bit of food. And there was this this guy behind us, it's like one table over, and he was pretty old. He was like sitting in a walker facing the window, and so he was kind of like staring at us. He was like looking at us eating, which was like a little weird at the beginning, but you just kind of phase him out. Let's talk about the guy. Yeah. And then it was right near the end of the, we were just about to leave, and then like he dropped his glasses on the ground. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really pay, I didn't really pay attention to what he was doing, but he was this old guy, he was in like a thing, um, and I guess he had papers around, I'm not really quite sure what the papers I were, because I didn't really he wasn't look. eating. He wasn't he was, eating, he was, was just like, there. There was like, there was like, spreadsheets. Yeah, he, I don't know what he was doing, but he was there, and he was old, and he was in this chair, and he has, he was there alone, and then he, he dropped his glasses and the kind of like, slid on the ground, and I just went and picked up, handed him the glasses. And then he just gave me this, like, knowing smile, and then was like, I pegged you for the man that would do that. And I was like, pick up your glasses? Like, yeah, of course. And he's like, I've been listening to your conversations, and I think, I think you should marry her right now. Um, no, he was telling me to marry you. Oh yeah, he, he told you he to marry like, me. Yeah, you're, you're such a, I know you're a great person, blah blah blah. And then like turns to me and is like, you should marry him. <laughs> it's like, okay, get right on that. <laughs> he was just like saying how good we were. And yeah. And then, how like, he's like, I can tell you're good people. And he just went on this rant for like so long. As it, and then I, it kind of felt like he dropped his glasses on purpose. To yeah, see if like, I would well, answer. Well, will you pick it up? Because it, like when I went to pick it up, he just gave me that like it was like I picked it up. And he's like, mm, you did it, and I was like, okay. Uh, and it was just super nice. It's really weird. Yeah, and then he was like, I'm gonna buy you guys dessert. And we're like, no, I was actually feeling kind of sick anyway. Yeah, so like, both of us feel. I was like, just like, I was yeah, super properly. stressed and not eating properly, and was like, mm. but he was just a super nice guy. It's really weird. It was really weird. And then we left and came home and went to bed. <laughs> I think we made a mistake. What do you we think? Should've, we should have accepted. He was like our guardian angel or something. He was the know. guy? He was the guy that we were supposed to like accept dessert from. And then he would tell us his life story and then like... Who knows? Make our lives magical. Like, I don't know. Like He was, like, <laughs> he was the, the guy and he was going to like... Make our lives better somehow. Right. I don't know. So, we messed up! We messed up. On that note, one thing that uh, I've been thinking a lot about recently is the like multiple realities, multiple universes. Oh, yeah. Of just like universe A and universe B and like the crossroads where like, what if we stayed and had dessert with that guy? Right. Right? Like, well, like as, as soon as we left, and we took like three steps away, we were like, I know, I was like, man! Man, maybe we should have just stayed and had just, dessert. And just like, talk to him. Um, but at the time, we were just sitting there and feeling kind of gross, so we were just yeah. like, we just kind of wanted to leave. Um, so it's like, what, what difference in universes would that have created? It was like, we went to this party once, and met this person, and then that person led to this other person that led to this other person. And then you think you're like that one moment of like, I'm not going to go. But I, I decided to go last minute. You know, that, that whole chain reaction just from that one event. I think about that sometimes in the sense of my parents decided to move to Canada. Yeah. What if they hadn't? Yeah. What if they just didn't move to Canada? You wouldn't be here. No, no, I wouldn't. This whole situation wouldn't be here. <laughs> it just wouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Or maybe it would. Maybe I would have decided to go to school in Canada. Like I don't. Yeah, think I don't think so. 
I think you would have stayed in Holland. Yeah, so... But then it goes back even farther as to, like, what made your parents want to go to Canada? That's what I mean. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so it's, it's not just the decision to go to Canada, but, like, it goes probably farther than, like... The first thing that brought them to Canada in the first place for them to like Canada. Yeah, that and kind of go stuff. go home and then... Decide to move an entire family across the ocean. Move. Yeah. Yeah. It's just been a thing in my head recently. I just wanted to share that. I wanted to share that story about last night because I thought it was just really neat. Other than that, I think that's it. What's it? I think that's it for today. Yeah, sorry. Uh, that's it for today. I'm really mm -hmm. bad at life. It's just been, the past couple days have been really busy. Busy and stressful? Really stressful, really busy, just hammering a lot of work, trying to get everything done. So there hasn't been a lot going on, but I want to give you this quick update. And the story I thought was pretty neat. You got some personal one-on-one -on -one time. All right, I'm going to go to bed because it's 1230. And I'm pretty feeling, feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty sleepy, fe feeling, I'm tired. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow's going to be, tomorrow's Sunday, I think. Um, true. Sure. Cool. So Sunday, we'll get a bunch of stuff done then. And then next week is buffer week. So hold on to your butts. Home is where the fog is.